hi everyone uh, today we are going to see about the product models uh, so the use case will be uh, ngm wants to track a uh, future customer inquiries about the recently launched uh, streaming device uh, the calco box uh, that is the uh, updated version and uh, the improved version of the calico box uh, v1.71 model including some of its product details essentials to support uh, customer service processes we will uh, see it in using the product models let's get into the video so we are in a service now instance we just go for a product models So we are in a product models. Uh, so the product models can be managed with the product catalog application. Uh, we can uh, create a new one for this. So I will be creating a new one. It will be asking for some uh, list product models list. So uh, in this model interceptor, we can select the hardware. So once we select it, we can provide our inputs. So the manufacturer can be a now global media. We can select now global media. That is the in, that means NGM. So this is a now global media. So we shortly call it as a NGM. Uh, the uh, name can be a uh, Calico box V2.83. Uh, so So this is our, uh, we can call the name. Then we can enable the checkbox of uh, customer visible checkbox. We can enable it. So the important thing uh, is from the customer and uh, customer service portals and also the product models data can be accessed by customers. So the C CSM underscore CMDB underscore product uh, dot customer visible underscore flag property we have which is set to true by default. Uh, the, so the limit across to the product models data for uh, customers by evaluating each product models a set customer visible flag. So uh, we just uh, save this uh, uh, form. So once we save this, we can able to create the product model attribute as a characteristic. Uh, characteristic. Actually. So we we need to go to the characteristic table and then we need to create it uh, one characteristic uh, record. So let's do that. So under product catalog management, we have the characteristics. We can go to the characteristics and then we can create a new one. So we we can name it as a video resolution. Select a choice. So we can type uh, type of video resolution supported by multimedia devices. We can type. So we can save this form. We have created the characteristic uh, record. So under the characteristic option, we should need to create a new one for the uh, for this particular video resolution. So we, we can uh, make the option as 4K. So anything we can be able to provide. So I just take it as a 4K as an option to submit this. So again, I can select a new, so we can provide a HD like that. See. So this too, uh, we can able to give the option to the consumer or else any other customer. So now we can go to the history. So as we have created the uh, hardware model, right? We can go to the hardware model. 
so in the related related list we have this product model category so we can create a new one here we can provide the characteristic which we have created in this video resolution so so this one has been already created by us so we have uh, selected and the characteristic option we have uh, created a two option right 4k and hd so we can just provide a hd and we can submit this so by uh, by creating like this uh, uh, related to the hardware the end customer can easily identify the characteristic uh, of this uh, uh, 4k or uh, uh, any other uh, hd so those kind of things we uh, the end customer can easily identify and then they can select so uh, that's how the product model has been worked uh, so we will furtherly uh, see about this same topic in the next class uh, thank you i'll see you soon